I think if we're going to talk about catalysts uh, for awakening in America, I think it begins with uh, knowledge of the Word of God. I think one of our biggest issues is Bible illiteracy, especially among my generation. And so um, I think about Ezra. I think about when he stood up and declared the Word of God over the people. And the Bible says that they wept uh, because they heard the promises of God. They heard um, the, the law of God. And when they heard it, it broke them because they, they had missed out on their inheritance. And so I think it has to start in the Word of God and the knowledge of God. Secondly would be prayer, but you can't even pray good unless you're knowledgeable in the Word. Um, there's a, to pray without the Word is uh, to be uh, spiritual, but to have no breakthrough whatsoever. To uh, How can you access what you don't know exists? And so you can pray a prayer, but if it's not according to His will, which is His Word, uh, we have no promise for answers. But First John says, if we pray according to His will, we know that He has heard us and that He's going he's gonna to do what we've asked Him for. So those two things, I know that's really deep <laughs> for some people, but it's a revival of the, the truth of God's Word and prayer, which ultimately leads to the whole reason why we exist. When those two things happen, you can't help but to live a life of worship uh, because there comes a great appreciation when you realize the depths that God went through to redeem mankind. The fact that for thousands of years, He confined Himself to a box just to be with His people. Then to say, I'll do something better than confine myself to a box. I'll do something better than put on flesh for myself. I'll now dwell in you through the person of the Holy Spirit. That's uh, why we say we have this treasure in earthen vessels. Uh -huh. So I think that, that, that's two. Uh, and then number three, I think is that lifestyle of worship. I think the ultimate goal of God is for worship to exist. The only reason why mission exists is for worship, adoration of the Son of God. So the word, prayer, and worship. And worship becomes the, uh, the catalyst, I believe, to sustaining both the word and prayer. So it, it, it's a cycle. I, I read so that I can pray. And I pray, I get answers, and it therefore causes thanksgiving, praise, worship to come forth. And then I'm like, man, this was so good. I'm ready to repeat the cycle. I want to go deeper in revelation so I can go deeper in prayer. And then my worship goes deeper. And I tell our young people this all the time. I said, you, you can only go as deep in worship and in prayer as you are in the Word. And Kenneth Hagin, great leader of charismatic uh, renewal, he said this, he said, if you want to spend an hour in prayer, you need to spend two hours in the Word because everything starts with the Word of God. So I, I think those are the catalysts for waking.